my name is Green and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft and I'm not on Ren Bob's toilet for the reason that you think I am. Basically, we made a brand new secret entrance to our secret tunnel. Instead of having the hole that was just sitting in my RV, we made it so if you flush this toilet, it goes down and you end up in the secret tunnel. But unfortunately, we've had a bit of an issue. Yeah, look at this, <laughs> look at this. I thought when I was building this, I was fighting the grass left, right, and center. But look, it somehow crept in without any of us noticing. And the whole thing's just covered in grass now. It's actually really annoying, because this is basically having to redo it, redo the whole thing. I'd have to redo the whole thing, take out each and every one of these grass blocks, place in a dirt block, and then I guarantee you it will end up exactly as it is now. So I'm now debating whether it's worth the time trying to fight this grass block shenanigans or just go with it. Just let it grow. I I'm not even sure, but I was, a <laughs> I was a little bit like, oh no, when I saw this. Either way, I need to set up something here. I actually need a couple of armor stands and I'm no good with armor stands. What I'm gonna do is ask Zombie Cleo, who is an expert in the armor stand world, and ask her to make them for me, which means giving her a little bit of an instruction. So I'm gonna go and drop this off, which tells her exactly what I need and to pay her some diamonds for it. So we're gonna quickly head over to Cleo's base to give her the instructions so that she can help us out on this because it is a little bit tricky for me to use armor stands. I've not really visited Cleo's base before, but this is a very good example of <laughs> three greens around a map. Look at this. She's so good with the armor stands. Uh, hello. Where have you been? There's so many like armor stands here. How has she done all this? Anyway, this is exactly what we need, but I don't really know where she keeps all of her storage and stuff. Ah, there we go. I thought I'd find her storage. Right, as long as I put the book in here, then she will definitely come across it. If these instructions don't confuse Cleo, I don't know what will. So it says, top secret. Hi, Cleo. I need an off the books armor stand creation. Can you flush yourself down Red Bob's toilet in Hippie Land? Signs there will tell you where to go and what to do. Payment is included here for your troubles. So we're done. Put that in here and I'll pay 20 diamonds. I don't know if that's enough, but I think it's a good start. She can always ask for more if she needs to. So those instructions, and maybe I should leave a sign here as well. Top secret assignment, there we go. Mission accomplished. And it will make a lot of sense what that was all about a little bit later on, but trust me, it's really, really important. Since we're here in the shopping district, you might remember from a few episodes ago that I created the Now extension to Sahara, and I didn't really fully understand it all, but actually, Iskal has just completed all of the redstone for it, and I think that's, that's him there, and he's asked us to get in a meeting so that we can sort out some of the finer details of this project, and then hopefully we can get a few hermits to buy a subscription to it so that they can pay us to spend more. That's right, we're going to make a lot of diamonds from this, hopefully. So let's go and hop into the meeting room where we're going to wait for Iskal and Mumbo. Well, I hope Mumbo turns up because we all remember what he did last time. I don't want to have to take your mustache again, although he's got it back at least, so maybe we can get rid of this. Let's just hope that he turns up, okay? Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. You're right. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Look, I've missed one meeting. Fine. Yeah, like, it's, it's only one. I can't help. But, I can't help but notice that you've also removed my chair as well. Like I can't believe how cutthroat you guys are. I <laughs> well, miss that's what one happens meeting. when you don't turn up to meetings. We've yeah. actually added your your uh, chair to ours, so now mine's a bigger chair. That's, that's right. how this yeah. works. Um, that is enormous. We both have we oh, both yeah. have functions in our chairs. It's Gal. Do you want to so. do you want to give him his new chair? Yeah. Yeah. I'm appreciating the recline, the front recline. There you go. There's you your chair. Me? Stool? Stool My feet don't even fit on this thing. Oh, Until you I... start turning up to meetings, this is your chair. <laughs> You've missed just as many whoa, meetings whoa, whoa, as on, me, on, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't hear you. Let me get down to your level. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you know what? Hang on. Perfect. Look, okay, I'm taking my chair, and I'm gonna make my way. You know what? I'm not, I'm not caught. There, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Continue. Continue <laughs> the meeting. Sake. We're here to discuss the next stage of Sahara's evolution, which is Sahara now, which is a brilliant scheme where we get hermits to pay us to buy more stuff from us. It's, it's pure profit. And that does sound... It's a win-win-win. Uh, it's a win-win-win. It's a win-win-win. Yeah, win. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been a bit busy being a hippie recently. So. Yeah, why? What is that stuff you're wearing? And and what's t consider showering and soap? <laughs> yeah, I'm above. I'm above him. Like this is this is awful. I, fl yeah. I smell flowery. Is that sandals? Yeah. Is that sandals or is that Rendog's beard on your feet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 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 actually their their beard hair sandals. It's a combination of the pair. All right, you can ignore my my hippie attire. We're in business Sahara mode. Okay, Iskal, okay. please explain what Sahara now is and how it works. Yes. Okay, so Sahara now is a, an exclusive membership that requires you to have a membership coin boop, that you purchase for a price that we need to decide. And when you've purchased it, you get access to the lounge area, which I've, uh, I, I have renovated slightly since you guys last saw it. And should we fly over there? Yeah, let's go. Is it, yeah, let, yeah let's, let's actually take a look. So, so as you can see, I've renovated, I've taken the liberty to renovate the lounge to include this Sahara Now function. And with a membership token, the other hermits are allowed up to this area. I've also made like an entrance for it, but I can show you that later. When you are a member, you get to access all the different offers that we present. And that is this little mechanic here. I've also written a book with instructions and it's kind of like a good test for me to see if you guys understand it by reading the book. I was elected to lead, not to read. Yeah, I was going to say, you want you want us to read <laughs> all, right, no, all of, fine, all of fine, the book, I, I would, all four pages, Where are the signs, Where are the signs? Signs are messy. No, they're okay, not. Okay, this is an signs... exclusive thing. No one well, reads books. This uh, book... Every hermit <sighs> I've ever seen just goes, oh, there's a book. Right, what does this button do? Well, now you purchased an offer. And oh. now you get presented with the next offer. Oh, I purchased it? Oh man, this deal sucked. Well, you didn't have to buy it. You didn't have to buy it. Well, I didn't I didn't know what the button did because no one put a sign there. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You see? Yeah. I'm not going to put signs here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put signs here. All right. Boom. Purchase deal. Was that that hard? Was that difficult? Iskal's always wanted to be a published author. Um, <laughs> and we'll give him we'll give him this one. Boom. <laughs> I assume this cycles through, and that's the purchase button. Boom, cycle the next offer, purchased it. Was that hard? That wasn't difficult at all. Fine. Very fine. To be fair, that does actually look... And I just saved four pages of book. You know, these these deals are pretty good. They're all ten diamonds, though. Maybe... I think some of them could be a little cheaper, but... How much are we going to charge for the membership? That's the next question. Because these are only good in relation to that. Like, that is a lot of sea lanterns for 10 diamonds plus the shulker box. So Wait, hang on, yeah. hang on. <laughs> uh, so about the stack of sea lanterns that is missing from that box. <laughs> Did you take some? <laughs> she, she, I, I, I blame myself for this. I've been like, I, I swear I had two rolls of sea lanterns. Mumbo! <laughs> I just saw a box of them in the meeting room, and I was like, well, I do need some sea lanterns. So I, I, I took one of the stacks. This, okay. is why, this is why you have a button for a chair. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. This is why our so chairs are bigger than yours. Put it back. <laughs> okay, so, so how, how many diamonds does a membership cost? Well, it's going to be lifetime, right? It's going to be a lifetime membership. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, 50? 12 diamonds. Uh, okay, well, yeah. it's too cheap. They get okay. their shot. That's why box. he's sitting on a button and we're not. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, a, a thousand it's... diamonds. That's too far in the other one direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that escalated quickly. That is a hundred diamonds. A hundred diamonds. Hun hundreds a really uh, nice figure because it's it's a quite a large a nice price tag. But when they actually oh, are they allowed to come and see the deals? How do they know? They don't. We have to do. We have to. We have to sell it to them through marketing. Oh, okay. So a hundred diamonds. They don't know what they're getting until they pay a hundred diamonds. Then they see the deals, but the deals are ridiculously good. Yeah. So hopefully, so word of sign. mouth helps. We just need one person to sign up, 
But I should mean, all Shulka boxes be 10 diamonds, or should we differ so I think, that we yeah, have some ridiculous offers? I think we should have offers. some ridiculous offers. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like a good move. So we need some dirt cheap Shulka boxes that are filled with really good stuff that exactly. people will then, yeah. you know, they'll tweet about it, stuff like that. Stuff like ice, yeah. for example. Well, yeah, for no, for maybe diamond. not. All right. I, I mean, propose, yeah. I propose a little competition between the three of us then to see how many memberships we can sell to the other hermits. And that means we've all got to take on a little bit of a marketing uh, program scheme by ourselves to see how many we can get, right? So if I if I sell three memberships, I bring in 300 diamonds. Iskal maybe only got one sale and maybe Mumbo got 10. Mumbo wins. Yep. What do you think? That is the likely results yeah. of this competition as well, by the way. Well, that's more hermits than are on the server, so good one. Thing. I'm going to invite some people to the <laughs> server. I just start bringing people in. Thanks, right. dude. So there's a little competition to see who can sell the most memberships. And also, is it okay if I add some deal boxes of my own as well? Yeah, that's the whole idea. Both of you should add deal boxes because... Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the whole point. Whole point. Perfect. Do you want to see how members access this place? Oh, yeah. Well? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you know I didn't even know that bit. I'm guessing anyway, so... I put this yes. in here. Let me. I mean, I've not seen this before, yeah, so I, yeah, I put yeah, it in yeah. there, press the button. I like the beats. How do I get it back? Well, you, you open the Schalke box before you go. It's like a key card insert thing. Uh-huh. So, where's the sign that says that? <laughs> Look, all right. <laughs> It's just assumed that you would pick it back up, okay? It's just assumed. You're that person at the supermarket that leaves the pound in the trolley, isn't it? You're, you're that person. I don't know. You know, it's not, it's not clear. Instructions, not clear. Got my hand stuck in the machine. There you go. I've lost my key card. Can I have another one, please? That would be another 100 diamonds. Okay, so we... Uh, all right, okay. You're, you're going to actually... <laughs> Wait. Take key card out before entering. Wow, that doesn't look hostile at all. I love it. <laughs> so, take keycard out. There we go. I did oh, it. Oh, you got it. Wow. Oh, oh nice. wait, I messed it up. Instructions at the top weren't clear. Fell down. <laughs> <laughs> look, all right. <laughs> I wonder. I spent more th more time green proofing and green instructions. Oh yeah, don't even go there about that sort of thing. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Just saying, everyone that's shopped at Sahara so far has been super confused. Okay. So wait. So let me just to summarise the meeting. Okay, because clearly I'm the only sensible one here. So, um, uh, so I I now have the tallest chair by default because I'm on top of. Grin's chair. So we've sorted that. We've resolved that problem that we were having. That was a serious problem. That was number one on the schedule. Uh, number two is that Sahara now is quite good. We've wiped out the price, which is 100 diamonds. Uh, we're going to be doing marketing campaigns, and Grin isn't allowed access to any of this stuff anymore because he's useless. What? I'm just yep. trying to make sure the customer has the Don't best Don't stand experience. next to me. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> I've got the biggest chair. I stand next oh, to you. he stinks as well. He stinks <laughs> as well. If there's any conclusion from this is that a hippie has made it into Sahara yep. and it it now is now very foul. It's very, very If smelly. I could roll my eyes in Minecraft, I would. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're in we're on a competition to sell the most memberships through our marketing campaigns. Uh, gentlemen's rules, okay? Gentlemen's rules. No no back dealings. You can't you can't go and offer uh, discounts for the hundred diamonds. It's got to be right. hundred diamonds. You can't pay them back once you got it. Gentlemen's rules. You've got to be honest with it, and the best marketing and adverts will win. All right. Deadlines. None. Just gonna leave it oh. endless. Uh, right. Until I have the most, I think that'll do. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's the move. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Sounds good to me. So so wait, guys. Is Sahara now opened? Is it open? Oh, oh no, we forgot to open it. <laughs> wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're really bad I at this. Hold on. Fly back over to you. I prepared. I've prepared. Um, not quite uh, as big an opening as our original one, but I've got an, an opening rocket here for for Sahara now. Budgets are tight because Sahara's been not making enough money. Right? You ready? Um, count, yes. Count down with me. Three. Two, two, one, one. one. Yay, Sahara now's open. Way. 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 Way.
Well, that was actually a pretty awesome meeting, but we need to get back to being a hippie, because, I mean, that's the skin I'm wearing at the moment. And the next thing that I want to work on is this. The hippie silo that everyone's been wondering what it's about. I've actually made this giant cube, and this is what I'm going to be making in here. The big distraction for Area 77. This is going to be one of the funnest pranks of the season. You heard me pranks. This is going to be awesome, but it's actually something that's going to take a few weeks to do. And I've prepared a bunch of blocks, as I usually have to do. This is the stuff you don't see. We have to collect all this in the background to make projects like that possible. So what we're going to do is a quick time lapse of building this. And uh, by the end of it, you'll know exactly what it is. So let's begin. So, in this little time lapse, I say little, it took two hours. It's not little at all. And then gathering all the resources took many hours. So when I say little, I don't mean little at all, but it will take only half a minute. <laughs> what we're going to be making, actually, I'm not going to tell you what we're making, because I think you can work out what it is. But scaling up said thing that I am now building is not easy. It's not easy at all. The thing that I'm building has been made three times already in this hippie commune. It is something that works a lot better when it's smaller. I think I've done a pretty good job of imitating it at about three times the size. However, it took so long I was like, oh, when I was building it. Anyway, that is the full thing. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I could put a few more details in this. However, I think you get the point and that's the main thing. If you can't tell what it is, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to help you. Well, there you have it. Two hours later, and we've got ourselves a giant RV in a silo. This is only part one of my three-part plan, okay? And I'm guessing that you will guess what's going to happen to this RV. But I'm not going to give anything away just yet because I'm guessing you all know what's going to happen to this, but maybe not what comes after that. So I've obviously built this giant RV. It's got nothing on the inside at the moment, but that will change at some point. And basically, if you have guessed already, this is going to launch in the air. What it's going to do after that, I'm not going to say. However, I need Area 77 to know that it's going to launch. Because obviously they can take a look at this and make their guesses, but really this distraction isn't quite enough. And what I really need is a countdown clock. Something visible with a big five, four, three, however many days it is until launch to show them that it's going to go up. And then when it actually does launch, I want it to count down five, four, three, two, one. Now, my redstone ability, well, it's not great, as we all know. So, I would like to do something that we haven't done, which is recruit an extra hippie to the group. At least, recruit an, a hippie that's going to help us do a bit of a redstone project. And I do have someone in mind, but I'm going to open it up to the group. And I'm going to put an advert out there to apply to join the hippies so that they can do exactly what I said, the big launch countdown. So actually, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to head back to the shopping district again. Man, this journey, it, it, it does take a while. So I'm in the shopping district outside of iTrade. This is a pretty um, used nether portal here. So what I'm gonna do is put a advert right here for who we're looking for. So we'll put wanted redstone Wanted, redstone-based hippie to help fight the man. To apply, please contact Green and Renbob for an interview. That way, we can make sure we're getting the right person for the job. And now, I've got to go all the way back. This journey, I must admit, I've made this journey about a million times. And it is pretty dull. Especially when this happens. What? No! Ugh. Actually, while we're here on our way back, have we made... Oh, yes, please. We've got 30 diamonds. Looks like some people hit the lava. Wow, people have been busy playing this game. I've got to restock at some point, but there's still a few left open if people want to play. Going to add those 30 diamonds to my chest. 
Excellent stuff. And if you're wondering about my uh, lava mini game, the floor is lava mini game. Well, I'll be completely honest with you. This doesn't happen very often, but I, ha I have done a little bit of work in here, and I am still continuing to work on it. <laughs> you can see our, our hippie paintings there. Love. Um, I've actually lost heart in this project. Uh, I think, I think, I don't know what happened, but I, it just suddenly became very painful to, to keep building this. I will finish this, uh, but I don't want you guys to think that uh, I'm making loads and loads of progress on this each and every episode because I'm, I'm simply not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be honest with you, and I am going to just close it up, not, not indefinitely, I'm just going to put this on hold until I can sort out all the stuff in Hippie Land, which I'm finding much more entertaining at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> uh, tell you what, I'm just gonna put opening soon. There we go. That, that, that's, that's what people do when, when they put something on hold, isn't it? Right, so, I don't know how long it is gonna take me, but I will come back to this a little later. But it's such an awesome build, and it is gonna be such an awesome game that I will have to finish it a little bit later on. But to get back to the hippie world, or hippie land, or whatever we're calling this this commune, there's a lot to do. But I'm afraid that that will have to wait until next episode. We got a lot done today, and next episode I'm hoping to do uh, some sales. I need to make some sales for my Sahara membership. I want to make as many diamonds as possible for Sahara, because it's not been particularly profitable at the moment. We still need to break even, but this membership thing could be really, really cool. So, we got our RV built, we had a big meeting, and we're preparing for our um, Sahara membership. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, in which we're going to do some really cool things. See you later. Goodbye!